Hello, my soccer universe. Time finally for the Africa Cup of Nations, which starts on Friday night, very late for Central European time, actually at 10 o'clock in the evening. It's actually, I think, even 11 local time. The opening match is between Egypt and Zimbabwe. Uh, I'm gonna preview as good as I can this Africa Cup of Nations. I've already made a video about teams that qualified and so on, but we run a little bit through all of these and then I'll give you my personal predictions also tell you what the book is uh, thinking uh, along which lines um, yep first off the Africa Cup of Nations when I think about it uh, given that I can actually reasonably watch it because of uh, the same roughly same time zone as uh, Europe is probably my third most favorite soccer tournament international soccer tournament if I could watch the Copa America more often, more probably that one, but I have to say what really intrigues me about the Africa Cup of Nations, and this is true every year, is the absolute equality uh, between the teams. Yes, you see star players, there are teams that are more gifted than others, but overall the level of play, yeah, the level of play is not always great, but um, it's a very level playing field that you never know who is going to make a run for it? And that to me is super, super exciting. Before we go deeper, what am I wearing? I'm wearing my new Burkina Faso shirt. Burkina Faso, as we will see, unfortunately has not qualified, but I have six other Africa shirts here of teams that have qualified. I will use this one as a stand-in for all the other nations. Yes, I should get the Africa Unity shirt, but to be honest, I don't like it all that much. So I like, this is Africa colors all over the place. Burkina Faso is one of my favorite teams in Africa. To me, Burkina Faso not being present at this edition is a little bit like the Dutch not present at the Euros or at the World Cup. So yeah, I want to honor them <laughs> with that. They were semifinalists. I think they even made third place uh, two years ago. And that also tells you a lot about the Africa, uh, African continent, that a team that finished in third is not even qualified now. Nigeria, as we will see, is one of the f among the favorites and they haven't been in the last two editions. The field is now expanded to 24 nations. It's the biggest Africa Cup ever and the whole thing will be played in Egypt. It was originally slated for Cameroon. However, due to uh, troubles of political nature but also um, in preparations, the Africa Cup was given uh, uh, December last year to Egypt with 6 into 1 votes over South Africa. It's a big uh, thing for Egypt. This is the first major thing that's happening in the country since the revolution. Also have in mind that in Egypt um, there are almost no crowds allowed and that the ultras of the big teams like um, Al Ali and Zamalek were actually behind the entire re revolution and don't want to go too much in politics there have been a lot of arrests happening over the past few days to ensure that we'll have a happy tournament and yeah the sad story is that tournaments are usually more professionally done in auth in yeah dictatorships which Egypt unfortunately more or less turns into at this moment. So yeah, it's you have this up and down thing, but given the pedigree that Egypt has on the African stage, they are sort of obvious hosts. Uh, the games will be played in only six stadiums for six groups and they will match, uh, go around. Uh, all of them are more or less uh, concentrated to the northeast corner of the country, you know, where most people are living. This is, of course, in Cairo, the huge stadium with 74,000, international stadium. There are two more in Cairo, uh, the 13th of June stadium, which has 30,000, and the Al Salam stadium that seats 30,000. There's one in Alexandria. Uh, with a little bit below 20,000 in Suez, one with 27,000 in Ismailia, um, which is a little bit north of Suez, also sl slightly below 20,000. 20, so um, only six stadiums for a 24 team tournament. It's probably the minimum amount that you can do it. And as and if you look at the schedule, uh, they are basically assigning every group to one stadium, except then for parallel games, then it's a little bit switched around. Okay, let's. I have a video 
already on qualified teams if you want to know more but let's just run through it we have uh, in order of qualification we have Egypt who are of course seven time winners of the uh, Africa of Nations and runners up from the last edition Madagascar qualified for the first time Tunisia has been winners in 2004 uh, and it's also kind of a regular, they have been 19 times there. Senegal 15 times was a runners up in 2002 as their best result, which is a little bit staggering. They're among the top favorites this time around, given the talent that they have shown that they have. Morocco have also won once and are regular 17 times. Nigeria 18 times there, three times winner. Uganda 7th uh qualification mali 11th guinea 12th algeria 18th so you see there are a lot of nations that you would actually expect there um that you haven't necessarily seen the world cup mauritania for the first time is the uh, is another debutant there's a third one uh ivory coast of course winners in 2015 uh 23 times present i think that's the absolute record of now egypt has the 24th second most kenya is there uh, never made it out of the group stage though for six time Ghana 22nd ha is waiting for its fifth title for quite a while now um, then we have Angola is there Burundi is another debutant Cameroon five times winner so they are the um, second one and they are of course the holders Guinea Bissau uh, is there for a second time Namibia qualifies for a, th a third time and Zimbabwe for the fourth time the Democratic Republic of Congo, the former Zaire, uh, qualified already for the 19th time. They, of course, won the last time in 74. Benin is for the fourth time, Tanzania for the second time, and South Africa for the 10th time, which, given that there were the sanctions on them, is um, actually quite a good uh, number of appearances. Let's run through the groups and how I think things will go. We have in group a egypt the democratic republic of congo uganda in zimbabwe the bookies uh, see egypt as a clear uh, favorite in this group and the egypt are also the favorites to win the entire tournament to no one's surprise most prolific uh, uh no uh, best team in africa if you look at the record seven time winners they are the host nation and every time they hosted it they have won so uh, Pretty clear that they're the favorites. Then the Democratic of, uh, Republic of Congo is the second, and Uganda, Zimbabwe are only outsiders, and that's exactly how I see it ending. I actually think that Zimbabwe will probably be ahead of Uganda. That's my personal feeling. Um, but as we will see, I only see uh, Egypt and the Democratic Republic of Congo getting out of this uh, group. Group B. Nigeria is actually not that big uh, fa favorites, but uh, still, they're in the mix. Uh, but I think they're only the fourth number four in at the bookies. But they are clearly favored to win this group ahead of Guinea, Burundi and Madagascar. I've read that Burundi is a team to watch uh, because they play um, nice possession-based uh, attacking soccer. And it's going to be curious to see how they will match with the big boys this time around. Them qualifying is a big surprise. Guinea is a team that's frequently there and I honestly see Guinea as uh, the team that will advance from this group um, uh, together with Nigeria Nigeria to win it. I think Burundi will be ahead of Madagascar. So you have two uh, teams making the debut. It would be nice to see Burundi go through, but uh, when I look at the other groups, maybe, but just maybe I, I just at the moment I don't see them going through group C the second favorite Senegal Algeria Kenya and Tanzania that's how they are uh, favored by the bookies Senegal is co-favorite uh, given their amount of talent it's a very Liverpool Africa Cup if you look at it because Senegal has Sadio Mane and Egypt has Mohamed Salah uh, I don't want to discount Algeria. Algeria has a lot of talent, uh, most notably Riyad Mahrez, of course, but um, if Feguli is in there, if they can get something going, and you know, yes, there's the big Egypt-Algeria uh, rivalry, but I think that North African teams will have an advantage at this Africa Cup of Nations, hence I think Algeria will finish ahead of Senegal. Senegal will get slowly going. 
in this FA Cup of Nations. Third is Kenya ahead of Tanzania. I actually think that Kenya might make it out of the group stage. Group D is, I think, a little bit more even one. Uh, Toss-up between the Cote d'Ivoire and Morocco, at least at first. The book is favored the Cote d'Ivoire, but uh, Morocco has been beating up on the Cote d'Ivoire lately. They uh, eliminated them for uh, to qualify the World Cup. I think they also eliminated them from the last Africa Cup of Nations. No, not sure about that one. Even qualifying those two were. This is a duel that has been very much on Morocco's side. And again, given that the tournament is played in Northern Africa, although they are Northwest, Egypt is Northeast Africa, but I would expect Morocco to do quite well. And I think Morocco will finish this group ahead of the uh, Cote d'Ivoire. And then, of course, South Africa. Um, group E, Tunisia, Mali, Angola, and Mauritania, in that order. In that order, uh, Tunisia and Mali will be close again. Slight edge, Northern Africa bonus, I would give it to Tunisia. Um, those are sleepers. Mali probably, people will now stone me because they think the Nigeria shirts are the best ones. From what I've seen, the Mali shirts are just glorious, especially the white away shirts. And then the last group has two heavyweights in there with Ghana and Cameroon, um, joined by Benin and Guinea-Bissau. In that order, Ghana ahead of Cameroon and then Benin. And I have the curious thing and that's when I went through it yesterday um, and kind of looked how, how I think it will end. I actually think that in group A and group B, those will be the two where we have only uh, two qualifiers and group C to F will be have all third place teams in there. This sets up the following three and I'm gonna walk you now a quadrant through quadrant how I see it. The first quadrant, we have the, uh, the Democratic of Republic of Congo play Senegal. I would think Senegal will win that. And Morocco will play Benin. Uh, Morocco as a group winner. The other two before were um, runners-up. Benin is a third-place team. So Morocco will play Benin. Uh, so we have a quarterfinal between Senegal and Morocco. I think at that point Senegal will be warm in the tournament and will move on over Morocco. There's just too much talent. I just think that at the beginning of the tour and tournament they might need some time to get uh, going. Next quadrant, uh, Nigeria over South Africa. I think that's pretty clear. I also think Ghana over Mali, although that's a lot tighter than you might think. So we have a classic Nigeria-Ghana semi-final. That's actually, a, that will be one to watch, to be honest. I would give Nigeria the edge. I know that Ghana is fancy, but I think I would give Nigeria the edge in that one. Now my upset pick. I picked Tunisia to win the group and then uh, the Cote d'Ivoire to be second. So they would meet and I still, I think the Cote d'Ivoire has a lot of talent on there. I'm not just sure how they will be as a team. I would like them to surprise me. I would go for Tunisia. Tunisia has been at the World Cup. They have some experience. They are a decent team. And again, North Africa bonus. I see Tunisia advancing in that one. Tunisia over the uh, Col Col Cote d'Ivoire, which will be a bad showing for them. And Algeria over Benin, I think, is pretty clear. Tunisia-Algeria in the quarterfinals. That's an, another really interesting duel. Algeria will get out of that quadrant. And then we have the uh, final one. Guinea against Cameroon. I think Cameroon should do that. Although Guinea never discount them. But I think Cameroon just just by the hair will get past Guinea and then Egypt again Kenya. Note that Egypt starts the tournament then they're in the lowest part of the bracket. Uh, Egypt against Kenya. Um, Egypt will win this easily and I don't think that Egypt will stumble over Cameroon either so they go to the semis. Final four, the way I see it going. Senegal, Nigeria. I don't know why um, I see Nigeria going on. And Algeria against Egypt, I see Egypt going on. And note, I had in the group C, Algeria ahead of Senegal. If Senegal wins the group, they are set up for a semi-final counter with Egypt. I just, for some reason, I like these semi-finals, but Senegal against Nigeria and Algeria against Egypt, I mean, those are some true rivalries. I think it will be a Nigeria-Egypt final. I and I might be completely off. I think Nigeria can do can do some damage in this uh, Africa Cup of Nations if they get together. Nigeria over Egypt in the final. 
I'm gonna go for that. Honestly, Egypt should win it. I think Egypt would be the winners. Uh, I think there would be riots on the street if they don't win it. Um, I just, something tells me Nigeria, and I might be completely off. As I said, it's a very open field. I actually could see quite a few things happening in this Africa Cup of Nations, but you know, my gut feeling tells me this is how the Africa Cup will go, will judge me by the end of the tournament. I'll be very curious to see. I saw that the kickoff times, at least in the first round, are not very friendly to me. You know, it's uh, 10 o'clock Central European time, 4, 30 and 7 mostly. Then at the end it goes between 6 and 9. Uh, this is probably when I will join uh, in fully and see how things are going. I will try to get daily updates of the Africa of Nations out as good as I can. Uh, there are quite some tournaments to follow, so we'll see how it, how it will go. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Let me know who you think will win the Africa Cup of Nations. Are you going for Egypt or Senegal? I try to not go for the obvious one. Uh, I know it's bound to fail. Subscribe to my channel if you want to get the updates of the Africa of Nations or see anything. I will probably do an Africa of Nations jersey review. That's pretty certain. Okay, I'm excited that this is finally going to start. I really love the Africa Cup of Nations and I got the good news that I will be able to follow it. And with that, I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that might be of interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will give you all the updates on my channel, all things My Soccer Universe. And with that, I want to wish you a wonderful day.